Welcome to another edition of Green is Good. This is the sum and substance edition of Green is Good. And we're here tonight at the Impact Hub, which is really Pinchot University. And we're here sitting tonight with Jill Bamberg. She's the president of Pinchot University. Thank you for being with us tonight, Jill. Yeah, thanks. So to talk a little bit about, you know, what, you know, the journey leading up to being the president of Pinchot before we get talking about what Pinchot's doing. All right. Well, it's not a particularly glamorous journey. Uh, <laughs> I actually started uh, with Pinchot from the beginning. Wow. And uh, my initial uh, role was trying to talk the two founders, Gifford and Libba Pinchot, out of doing it all together. Um, I was unsuccessful. And uh, they subsequently said, well, you know, why don't you help us out a little bit? And I figured if I couldn't talk them out of it, I better help them out. So, wow. so I've been here since 2002. Okay. Uh, I've always talked with the school and I also have served as the academic dean the head of curriculum development and now as the president good for you and and so how many students at any given time does Pinchot um, have in its curriculum right it it, it varies uh, this year I think we have about 105 students total Wow. and we have about uh, 700 uh, alums out in the world doing good work which is the more important number That's to the us more important number yeah and you're not just helping people earn an MBA, you're doing the sustainable MBA. That's correct. Talk a little bit about the difference between just a traditional business MBA and what you're doing, the sustainable business MBA. Yeah, I think um, the biggest difference has to do with what the purpose of a business is. Hmm. And I think in a traditional, most traditional business programs still believe that the purpose of a business is to maximize shareholder value. That's what students are taught day one when they walk in, and everything else sort of flows from that. Um, that's not what we tell our students. We believe that the purpose of business is to help the world become a better place and that business is a great vehicle for doing that. Uh, and you want to do it consistent with triple bottom line values of improving the planet, uh, doing good work for people, and profits flow from that. They are not the objective. And, and it's so fascinating. This is the first time I've even been exposed to this. Not only do you have this great university right here, but it's, it, the Impact Hub is embedded here so people can not only learn through your program, but then they could be here literally initiating and envisioning their, their, their startup and then you know incubating it and getting out the door right and a lot of our students uh, a disproportionate number of our students go on to do entrepreneurship once they get out of school right many of them go through our entrepreneurship training and some of them start their businesses before they get out of school uh, but overall in uh, uh, 13 years that we've been around we've launched our students have launched over 50 businesses so it's pretty impressive. You know, I, we travel the country. Green is Good has been around and interviewing uh, people for about seven years now, Jill. I've never seen anything like this. How many competitors do you have in the space of the sustainable MBA and doing it in such a unique way? Yeah. So there are only a handful of other schools in the country that offer a full sustainable MBA program. Mm. We were the first to do wow. that. Um, we th still think we're the best. Um, <laughs> and our program is differentiated from others in, in a host of ways. Um, but I think the main thing is to understand the differentiation between uh, the traditional business curriculum and a sustainable MBA curriculum. The traditional business curriculum, usually, for it, increasingly, you're hearing mainstream business schools talk about sustainability. What they mean by that usually is that they offer a class, one class. Um, and it's at the end, it's in the second year of the program, after all the fundamentals have been laid down Got it. the wrong way, in our opinion. Uh, our program, we integrate sustainability into every discipline that we teach. It's throughout the MBA core, and it's really the, our whole approach to business is, it has sustainability embedded in it. It's not an add-on. Got it, got it. So, and for our listeners and viewers who just joined us, I've got Jill Bramberg here, um, Bamberg here. She's the president of Pinchot University. To find Jill and to learn more about Pinchot, please go to www.pinchot, P-I-N-C-H-O-T dot E-D-U, Pinchot dot E-D-U. Talk a little bit about your students now. You have 700 alumni out in the real world, and I'm sure they're all like your sort of children and they they're, and they stay connected and you <laughs> stay do. connected and yep. you um, uh, are always helping them and watching them rise and do different cool things share some examples of some of your alumni and what they went out to go do well, one that's on my mind right now is a fellow named Steve Ferrone, who uh, left Pinchot. Took him a while to find his right 
right job after after us. Mm. Uh, but he ended up working for the World Cocoa Foundation, uh, helping to embed sustainability in their programs wow. all over the world. So, And we have some students that work at that industry level um, trying to shift a, a whole industry. Um, we've got one in the textiles industry, we've got one in electronics, we've got him in the cocoa industry. Wow. Um, other people uh, go out and start new businesses. Um, one that you may have heard about today is um, uh, the Community Source Capital, yes. which is an organization founded at Pinchot with a collection of Pinchot students who are trying to revolutionize the way in which the local living economy obtains cash to fund its growth. Casey. Um, yeah. yeah, and they're doing that by having creating opportunities for customers to provide investments into the businesses that they want to support. How cool. So we've got, you know, all of those. Another crazy business. Some of these, yeah. you know, we think are, uh, yeah. eh, we're not so sure. But here's one that, that I thought was, you know, not a great idea, and it's done fabulously well. This is in uh, Portland, um, and it's a business called Soup Cycle. Uh, and what this, the guy that founded it was a real, first of all, he's a foodie, and he's a bicyclist, right? So of course he's gonna combine those two interests and create a business delivering soup via bicycle. And of course, the only place in the country that you would think that would work is Portland. Right. Uh, <laughs> he founded the business, I don't know, six or seven years ago. Since then, there are now a whole bunch of other bicycle delivery based businesses including one that I think delivers mattresses but um, the the main thing is the the business has been so successful that you know he had millions of cups of soup served and uh, when he was ready to do something different he ended up selling the business to another pincho alum who is now pursuing it down in uh, in Portland and I think you know one of the things that's great about this that's is great. not only what the individual uh, members of our community do but how they help each other out and are able to bring pe more people along into their businesses and into the places that they're they working. They stay very, co co um, very connected, connected as an alumni group. Very connected. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. What is, um, you know, we're here tonight at your university and at the Impact Hub, and tonight's the launch of Summon Substance. Right. Talk a little bit about why this is an important night with regards to the launch in Southern Substance, and one of the co-founders of Southern Substance, of course, is Marin Keeley, who is another Pincho alum, uh, and uh, she founded Conscious Company Magazine. I think they now have four issues out on the stand, something like that. Yeah, and um, it's a gorgeous magazine. Um, yeah. Whoever said print is dead, uh, has not seen Conscious Company Magazine, right. clearly. Uh, and um, this is a project that she worked on in school and that some of our other alums are helping her out with. So, And Sum and Substance is a program that uh, I think they've created. And it's so fun how an alum comes back home right. and launches their new venture right. right here. That's right. That's right. And I think Marin is even living on Bainbridge Island now, which is where one of our campus facilities is located. That is so neat. We're down to the last two minutes or so, Jill. Any final thoughts for the young people that listen or watch our show, not only here in the United States, but around the world that are interested in becoming um, the next sustainable ecopreneur, entrepreneur? What's some thoughts about the path they should be following both in high school and college leading up to potentially even coming here. Right. Well, I definitely think they should come here, okay. uh, but I recognize that's an end point, not the beginning. Right. Uh, actually, it is a, it's just a point along the way right. in, their, in their path. Um, I think, you know, in, in college, uh, I think they should take whatever is their passion. The world has a need for people with all different skill sets. Sure. Um, I'm particularly excited when people come here with a good technical background, because I think the combination of technical expertise and business acumen means means that you're well positioned to solve the world's big problems, which need both of those skills. Engineering, you're saying? Or? Yeah, engineering, yeah. Uh, any kind of science-based skills. Uh, but anything that would would lend you would help you solve a physical real problem in the world and then the business skills go on to help make that a sustainable venture um, that said I majored in English I think it's a great major for people um, and I'm a big believer in the value of a liberal arts education so my advice is get the good basics down in college and then come see us for your MBA that is so great and to come see Jill and all of her colleagues here at Pinchot University please go to 
www.pinchot.edu. Pinchot.edu. To also learn more about Sum and Substance, please go to www.sum and sub. Sum, S U M and sub, S U B.com. Jill Bamberg, you are making the world a better place and are truly living proof that green is good. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. And thank you. Thank you. 